What is going on guys? Today you're watching Johnson Vlog and today I'm going to be showing you how uh, to clean an air filter. So you're going to want to start off some gloves. Alright, once you got those on. Um, so the first thing you want to do is take an air filter. Uh, this is a KLX 125, so it's a very small air filter, but nonetheless it's extremely dirty. So uh, you're going to pull out the diaphragm. And this thing is nasty. I mean it's kind of like regular oil on it. It doesn't even look right. Anyway. So once you get that out, um, you're gonna want to first put this in the water. Make sure it's hot. As you can see, there's some steam coming out of it. Uh, well, it's kind of cold out here, but you do want some warm water to uh, make it as easy as possible. Once you get that in there, go ahead and try to clean all the mud and debris off of it as you possibly can. So today I'm going to be trying out this Maxima Racing uh, filter cleaner and oil. Uh, so we'll be starting out with this one. And what you're going to want to do, it recommends, is you wash this out first. Then apply the cleaner onto the air filter. Rub it in. Allow 60 seconds for it to work in. And then go ahead and start rubbing it out after those 60 seconds. And it does recommend you use uh, warm water for the whole process. So now I've cleaned this out. So now we'll be trying this out. So you're gonna to wanna to do the inside and outside. Now, I don't know how your action post it is. I wasn't gonna watch a YouTube tutorial, but I'd assume it's just like spray painting. You wanna stay like six uh, inches away and do like sprays like that. You don't use too much. And then do the inside. And I'm gonna let that sit for, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub this in and then we will let it sit for six seconds. And if you're curious, this stuff does kind of smell bad. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to wear a mask while doing it. I'm not. Could be a bad choice. Don't know yet. All right, I rubbed it in. Now I'm gonna wait 60 seconds. All right, now I will uh, start cleaning it. See what it does. When you're washing out your uh, air filter, you wanna rub it gently, but firmly. And uh, you know, just rub, just rub like that while you're doing it. And when you're wringing it out, just squeeze it. Do not twist, don't wring it out. Just, just squeeze. That's all you gotta do. All right, guys, so the first of it, it actually did a pretty good job. Um, I mean, there's still some spots, and what that can recommends is if you need to go back and do those steps again, you can. And I probably will just to get this clean the first time. Um, I don't know if uh, I missed spots, maybe. I don't know if I just didn't do right here, because the rest of it looks super clean from doing it. And as soon as it hit the water, it was just a cloud of dirt that just came out. So it was an instant cleaner if you do the process correctly. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to get this thing as clean as possible. All right. So now what it recommends you do is uh, go get another uh, tub of clean warm water again. And uh, this thing kind of turned out pretty well. Uh, there's still some spots, but I mean, it got... Your main job is just to get all the stuff in between it out. Uh, it's just like having a cold. Um, you know, you're stopped up, you can't breathe, you don't feel great. Well, this bike's air system is the same way. It's trying to breathe, and it's got all this nasty dust and molecules and all that stopping it from breathing and it can't run right it can't run good cleaning your air filter is super important coming to maintenance with this uh with your machine all right guys i'm back got the clean water i'll show you real quick so now uh you see how clean it was i was showing you that so we could see together how well it does after the cleaner is not in there anymore so I'm gonna just put this filter right back in there. Start wringing it out. And if you're curious where I got this bin from, I got it from uh, Dollar Tree uh, for a dollar. I mean, it's definitely worth the buy. Uh, works perfect. You don't need nothing special. Uh, I mean, you can if you want, but I mean, this thing works just fine. This thing turned out awesome. 
And I'm going to do something else that, that doesn't recommend you do. Not that it's bad, it just doesn't say anything about it. So that's as clean as we're going to get it right there. But uh, I'm actually going to take this and put it in there because uh, it was disgusting. I put my hand on that filter and oil, like, it almost looked like engine oil was on my uh, hand. And what I believe it was, uh, the guy we just bought it from, we traded, we traded from, he put starter uh, fluid in there. You know, just uh, spray it in there on the filters before he got there. This man was trying to get out of there as fast as he could during the deal. So I believe he was trying to hurry up and run it before um, he ran out. And uh, your diaphragm's clean now. If you do that, that's up to you. That's just my personal preference. Uh, so now, you're going to let this sit. Um, you can do it for a couple hours, but I do it for a whole day. So that way it's completely dry and nothing's wrong with it uh with installation all right guys so i'm back uh the next day it's dry so now we will apply the uh oil and uh, i actually got up kind of early so it's a little dark in here uh, i wanted to get in here before i had to go to work and so uh what you can do is simply just uh just like the other stuff i'm gonna say you do it just like spray paint and just six inches away and coat the whole thing inside and out the less you press on the trigger the better it comes out because it comes out like a like a fan you want to do the inside too diaphragm's go back in now uh, I like this air filter because it doesn't have like a certain spot it has to be in, so that's actually really cool. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, we got it oiled and clean. And that's how you oil and clean your air filter. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if, you need, if you have a question, leave a comment down below. And uh, hit the subscribe button. And there's always good stuff going on here. And I'll catch you in the next one.